There was the uh, incident they talk about in the Dark Side of the Ring where you were arrested at a party for Lou Albano. What what was the connection there with Lou? Because he was a pretty crazy character. Did you know him well? Lou who? Lou Captain oh, Lou. Lou Albano. Well, yeah, I knew his daughter better, but um, but I love Lou from from back in the uh, late sixties, early seventies. Albano, Albano was great. So we're at his 75th birthday party. The owner of the bar, which I pissed off somehow doing something, threw a beer at me and hit me right here on the temple, the, the heel of the beer. The beer exploded all over. He ran into the bar. And it, it's one of those bars that, it, like, imagine him being in, like, Yonkers, New York. You're on the end of a street. So the bar is, like, really a row house. So so it's long. We were out in back. So he's running through the bar. And I'm running down the streets. And I could see him. I could look through the windows and then I don't remember this part, but Jimmy, um, I wish I could remember this guy's name because he, he was friends with the dude and he was in the kitchen. He said, I ran after the dude in the kitchen. I was throwing around glass, like trays of glasses and shit. And next thing I know, the cops got guns to my head. They've called in the SWAT team actually. So were you, you actually went to jail for that? Dude, you want to, I go into the, uh, I'm in the ambulance. The Yonkers ambulance people robbed me. They took my pants off, took my money. I remember laying there. I'm like, seriously, you guys are going to rob me? And then they took me to the psychiatric unit because they didn't want me to show up at the regular hospital. So they knew they could steal my money and drop me off at the psychiatric unit. That's exactly how it went. Brutal. And, that, you- and there's other people, there's other people that have said the same thing from Yonkers. So I guess you were just screwed in that case. There's nothing you it can do. It was what it was. You know what I mean? It was my fault. <laughs> it was all my fault. You know, you got to, dude, you got to live with it. Dude, when you screw up, you just live with it. And that lasted long because, let's see, I think that was Sunday, right? Monday, we go to court, we go to court. And then for some unknown reason, the whole court system shuts down all the way. It was, I don't know. It's not. It wasn't Buffalo. It was one of those other towns in New York or whatever had a power outage or whatever. So then I was done for that day. They took me back the next day, and then something happened. Then so I was actually in jail in the psychiatric unit in New York till like Thursday, until my oh. kids could pick me up. I guess the psych unit is better than regular jail, though. No, I'm not assuming. for guys like me. No. I'd been in regular jail. I'd, I spent a couple of years of my life in jail before before this little mishap. You know what I mean? I'd have much rather been around because they keep it hot as shit in the psych unit because that 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 dampens them down. You know what I mean? You make it 100, 100 degrees in there and that keeps them like half ass calm. So it's brutal in there. What was the toughest part for you about being in regular jail? Just being there. Just not having your freedom. Did they yeah, feed you okay? The day-to-day shit is is nothing. You know, as long as you're not a total moron, you know what I mean? You're going you're going to get along. And somebody with my size or whatever, and you know, and you act a little half-assed tough, then nobody's gonna screw with you. Yeah. Someone wants to know if you ever saw Haku in action in uh, in a bar fight or anything. No, but I wish. <laughs> 